Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Bernarda Becharai from a beautiful country in Europe, Albania. My every morning begins with challenges. How to improve myself to create beautiful smiles. How to make my patients feel more confident, more attractive. How to change their smiles and life in a short time. Because time is important. As they say, time is money. And they don't want to waste it on a dental chair. When we talk about surgical procedures, and the patient gets scared, so we try to reduce their discomfort and give their time to deal with their busy lives. We can minimize chair time by doing immediate loading to reduce numbers of visits, especially in the aesthetic area. The first case is about a 30 years old female patient presented in our clinic with a fracture on maxillary left lateral incisor. She had undergone a traumatic injury involving this tooth. She expressed her desire to have a rehabilitation that could offer a satisfactory aesthetic outcome. Treatment options were reviewed and informed consent was obtained. The patient has no relevant medical past history. Periodontal health was good and all pocketing was 1 to 3 mm without any attachment loss. Trauma has occurred a few days before and a general dentist did a temporary stabilization with composite. Based on the patient's expressed desire to reduce the treatment time, we decided to perform a post-extraction implant placement with immediate temporary restoration and non-functional loading since her clinical and radiographic examination revealed ideal hard and soft tissue. Many studies have shown that less bone loss occur when we put an implant and we do immediate temporary crown, the same day or a few days after. Before we started our surgery, we took clinical pictures. A preliminary impression of the maxillary arch was made with alginate to prepare an individual tray for the temporary crown impression. Also, a Maryland bridge because she didn't want to see herself without tooth even for just one minute. On the day of surgery, the patient received 2 grams of augmentin one hour before surgery, chlorexidine and 1 gram of augmentin six hours after surgery to reduce the risk of infection. Local anesthetic was injected into the oral mucosa and palatally. The coronal part of left lateral incisor was easily removed without pressure. The tooth was carefully extracted using a 50c scalpel to cut the fibers and avoid an eruption of the gingiva. We used the forceps to accomplish the extraction with very light twisting movements and avoid breaking the bony margins of the alveolus. An automatic extraction was performed without flap elevation to preserve the integrity of the interproximal papilla and remaining buccal and lingual bone plates. The extraction socket was debrided using a manual instrument and irrigated with sterile saline. The alveolus show the absence of fenestration or dehiscence of the bone walls. I choose a Megagen Enrich implant 4.5 by 11.5 mm. Megagen implant preserves cortical bone and offers an excellent initial stability, which is very important in immediate and early immediate loading protocols, thanks to his street design. The implant site was prepared at the bottom of the socket according to standard procedures. 
Laplace implant placement permits a reduction of bone resorption, which occurs when peristal tissue is separated from the underneath cortical bone. Moreover, it reduces surgical and post-surgical times, which are necessary to remove the stitches and reduce total costs. The implant was placed completely within the confines of the socket in palatal position, using the sterile surgical technique. In order to obtain bone regeneration and bone integration in the circumferential defect area, autologous bone obtained during the implant site preparation was slightly packed into the alveolus, and then compressed and condensed by the implant placement. The implant was inserted with a torque of 45 Nm to obtain optimal primary stability, an ICQ level of 75. A healing abutment 5 mm of diameter and sutures were placed to maintain soft tissue and interproximal papilla unchanged. A Maryland bridge was adapted because she didn't want to see and feel the space between teeth. After 20 minutes we took a silicone impression with the opened individual tray and impression cupping. Whole treatment from anesthesia till the impression lasted one hour, including waiting time with the healing abutment. Implant placement was done Friday afternoon and Monday she presented in our clinic to put the temporary crown. The occlusion was adjusted to clear all contacts in maximum intercuspidation and in lateral and protrusive excursion. The screw retained structure was connected to the implant to allow maturation and integration of the per implant soft tissue and to facilitate osteointegration. The professional restoration was cemented with professional cement. The patient was instructed to consume a soft diet and to avoid placing food in the surgical area during the first six weeks. She also was instructed to rise twice a day with chlorhexidine solution and avoid brushing the surgical side for the first two weeks. She was also given Alcumentin 1 gram every 8 hours for 1 week and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs for 5 days. Two weeks after surgery, the soft tissues showed a favorable healing pattern with no inflammation, no recession and preservation of the interdental papilla. The screw retained temporary crown was removed from the implant and the transfer was connected to the implant ready for final impression. A definitive impression was made using a silicone material and was sent to our laboratory where a master model was obtained from the impression. The final restoration was a screw retained crown in zirconia. The immediate loading dental implants have several advantages. The first is obviously a minimum waiting time to obtain the restoration of the missing teeth. This procedure is much shorter than with the deferred loading implantology, as well as the recovery times they are almost immediate. Moreover, with this technique the patient will have to undergo only one surgery instead of two and having new functional teeth a few days after is certainly a convenient choice. The gums adapt better to the crown since it was placed immediately in the implant, making the implant look like a natural tooth. The second case is about a young male patient aged 32 reported with missing right maxillary central incisor to our clinic for the replacement of this tooth. The loss of tooth in aesthetic area is often a traumatic experience for the patient. The patient gives a history of tooth loss many years ago due to an accident. During this whole time he kept a movable prosthesis and never fixed his tooth problem. There were two points I had to deal with this patient. First, he was very scared about surgical procedures. Also, he was working all the time and he kept delaying the dentist. 
The only way I had to convince him was to prepare a treatment plan that included one surgery, short recovery time, implant-supported fixed prosthesis, and early immediate non-functional loading. We explained everything to the patient in detail. Immediate loading of dental implants has gained popularity due to several factors, including reduction of treatment time and trauma, as well as aesthetic and psychological benefits to the patient. Clinical examination was done followed by radiographic evaluation. CBCT showed the amount of bone present and there was the absence of any underlying pathology. On examination, the mesodistal dimension was 7.3 mm and buccolingual 6.3 mm with no ridge defect. The periodontal biotype was thick. For this case, we chose a Megagen Enerage implant 4 by 10 mm and placed it in the right maxillary central incisor region. The osotomy site was prepared with the initial and final 3.3 drill. The implant was inserted with a torque of 35 Nm centimeter. We forgot to take the initial image that showed hardness of tissue design, so the implant cover screw was placed over and the flap was sutured back with 4.0 silk sutures, just for photography. The patient was instructed to use chlorhexidine solution for one minute, twice daily and to avoid any trauma to the operated area. Antibiotics and analgesics were prescribed three times daily starting from one hour prior to surgery up to five days after. A healing abutment with diameter 5 mm and height 5 mm was placed. After two days, we saw him and changed the healing abutment to a bigger diameter of 7 mm and took a preliminary impression to prepare the individual tray. Ten days after, we took the impression with transfer and silicone material and it was poured in dental stone to obtain a master cast. The technician prepared a meal abutment and a zirconia crown over it. When the patient returned after 10 days, the definitive zirconia crown was applied over the new final abutment. The crown was cemented on the abutment and the patient's occlusion was checked. The prosthetic was evaluated for aesthetics and phonetics. The patient was dismissed with post-operative instructions to follow a soft diet and to avoid incising food for three months. Benefits of immediate non-functional loaded implant surgery are Reduced chair time for both patient and clinician Reduce the cost of implant treatment Improves patient's comfort and satisfaction I sincerely appreciate that I've had this opportunity to present to you. Thank you very much for your attention and be safe.